Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is in fact, after checking all of the evidence, my name is Mike. In my previous video, we had a little deep dive into the world of Pretty Little Liars. She really thought she did something here and that involved looking at some of the most ridiculous and chaotic plot lines. Now saying ridiculous plot line and then TV show, those two things, they kind of lead you in one direction or paths lead to Riverdale. So what we're gonna be doing today is going through some of my favorite out of context Riverdale plot lines. I think it goes without saying that this video is pretty much one big spoiler for Riverdale. I'm gonna be talking about plot points from season four, season five. If you have no intention of watching Riverdale, but you just wanna see how ridiculous it is, feel free to continue. But if you're on season two and you wanna to get to five with no spoilers, time to click that cross after watching the ad. Thank you. What was that? That's what she said. And you know what? I what was that? Not that phase again, I can't do it. Are people watching Riverdale so that they can be served thought-provoking concepts that challenge their worldview? Daddy? No. Now, in addition to discussing the plot lines, I'm going to be putting them on possibly my best chart yet. Y'all gonna think that y'all about to come to me and I'm gonna be hugging y'all and taking a picture with y'all and instead, you getting your ass beat. Then y'all getting put on punishment. Then y'all getting another hiatus. Saying girl boss slay unironically, does make me want to rip my face off. Now, I know there are some people that enjoy saying girl boss slay and they say it unironically. And to that I say, nothing. I say nothing. Whoa, that was like profound. <sighs> this is exhausting. So our first out of context Riverdale plot line is, Betty's long lost FBI agent half brother is also Chick's boyfriend. Bye. I'm off. Get that far exit door, I'm off. Betty's long lost FBI agent half brother is also Chick's boyfriend. Hmm, remember the good old days of Riverdale when Chick was apparently Betty's brother, but then turned out to be the guy that Betty's brother lived with in the foster home who was like a drug dealer and a murderer and killed her brother and pretended to be the brother and convinced Betty to start being a cam girl wearing a black wig. Good times. Me personally, in terms of how far I made it into the show, I made a video explaining one of the seasons. Meanwhile, back on the On The Run World Tour, we get to meet Jughead's mum, and I didn't get much further than that. So this is absolute news to me. But then I'm also confused because who is the half-brother's parent? Is her sister not the child of FJ and Alice? Which means that Betty is dating her stepsister's dad's son. So her stepsister's stepbrother? Okay. I think that's pretty much regular clownery. Like it's not very girl boss. Next we have Betty has the serial killer genes. Ah yes, the serial killer genes. Who could forget those? That is girl boss clownery. Please explain to me what the fuck the serial killer genes are. Hiram escaped from the prison he owns. Also, Hiram is the mayor now. So the mayor of Riverdale went to prison, the prison that he owns, the prison that he was selling drugs to children and also giving them unexplained seizures. Cool. Like I literally don't know what to do with that information. Anything Hiram is cursed. You getting your ass beat. Cursed neutral, I would say. Oh, this one's good. Cheryl is keeping her dead brother's body in her house. She keeps on digging him up. She said, party time, brother, let's ride. Oh, you're decomposing? That is not an excuse. You said that last time. We have a party to attend. We have balms to embalm. We have maple syrup to preserve bodies in. Now, of course, Cheryl is a girl boss. Girl boss, gaslight, and gatekeep. She does all of those. Digging up her dead brother's body repeatedly, not just the one time. That's girl boss slay. Veronica opened a nightclub. That is just fantastic, isn't it? She also has a casino in there, I think, at some point. The girl has money. And you know what? That was so... Ew. You know where that money came from? Her father's prison network and the drugs he was selling to the children. Archie got mauled by a bear. I can't stand that bitch, honestly. And I'm not talking about the bear. Every time Archie does something, I'm just like, shut the fuck up. I'm begging. I am begging Archie, leave the screen, please. Give a little screen time to Betty. I would rather hear Veronica say, Daddy. Daddy? Than see Archie try and be a vigilante. So why are you wearing a mask? Why are you running around town? What is the purpose of this? 
You think you're Captain America? With what production? With what suit you're wearing lycra? It's not even lycra, you're wearing stretch cotton with an elastic band. I fully just like blacked out there. I don't even know how long I was ranting for. Alice and Chick killing a drug dealer in their kitchen. Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. I think I mentioned that in the last Riverdale video. Alice, oh, she's a girl boss, 100%. Chick can choke. Is Chick alive or unalive? I do not care. Chad Michael Murray brainwashing teenagers to harvest their organs. Ooh. Mm hmm That's from the farm storyline. Chad Michael Murray brainwashing teenagers to harvest organs and planning to drive a bus full of people off a cliff and escape in a rocket with no windows. <laughs> That's girl boss. Archie hooking up with his teacher. Miss Grundy. Grundy? Miss Grundy. Not that name. The obsession of these shows with the teacher-student relationship Leave it in the dust, park the car, turn the engine off, walk away, okay? Please, I'm begging, I am begging American television shows, leave this in the dust. Betty pole dancing to get into the biker gang. Don't you forget that in the audience was Jughead, who's her boyfriend, and her mum was there too. Girl boss slay, please. Archie's group of vigilantes he formed to take down the Black Hood who turned out to be his BFF Betty's dad. The serial killer genes, how could we forget that? So basically, if I'm getting this right, Betty's dad was going around hop, skimping and jumping and then doing the old Shawshank redemption into the besties around the town. And then Archie's little group of vigilantes, he was like, you know what, Black Hood, you better watch out because me and my Red Hoods, yes, literally, it was men without shirts on wearing red beanies. If, oh, I'm actually getting infuriated and sweaty, but I can't take my jacket off because I look too good. Archie needs to be locked up. Archie needs to be locked up. At the end of the day, I think a lot of the problems in the show would be resolved with Archie being locked up. This one's a simple one. The funeral cheerleading outfits. That is such girl boss slay. That is the maximized girl boss slay. Think of a girl boss. Got nothing on this. When Polly and her momager threw the babies in the fire, that's about when I kind of gave up on the show. Throwing the babies in the fire, that's kind of girl boss. The vixen singing jailhouse rock outside the juvie center. What did we do to deserve that? The glee print of it all. Cheryl being a pro archer out of fucking nowhere. Katniss Everdeen is taking notes. When they were making the new season of Fortnite with all the bow and arrows and shit, they were watching Riverdale appearing out of fucking nowhere with these leather hoods shooting shit with arrows. And that is such girl boss energy, don't even try and lie to me right now. Also, one of the articles that I was reading, which was written in January 2020, at that point, Cheryl's mum had killed 24 people. 24 people? And wasn't she kind of complicit in the, the murderings in the high school? This show, honestly. Let me recline, please. I just want to sleep. Betty defused a bomb in a room full of grown FBI agents. Little do they know she has the serial killer gene. I say, go girl, do what you need to do. Just wish that she had been doing it in the black wig, which was her alter ego known as Dark Betty. That wig was looking dry as hell. Jughead wearing a beanie to prom. That's another bitch that I can't stand, Jughead. I'm actually, I just got chills thinking about how much his scalp must smell. Is he washing his hair? Imagine the dandruff. No, oh my God. I reckon if you put, if you went like that and pulled the hat off, the stench. There is no way that he does not smell crusty, musty, dusty. He's been wearing that same fucking beanie for how many years now? And I know he's not washing that. Dealing with that, Betty is braver than the Marines. This last one I wrote myself after watching an episode recap of the latest episode on YouTube. Cheryl's grandma is preserving a body that had an alien autopsy performed on it in a barrel of maple syrup. Also, this is after the seven year time jump and Cheryl's grandma was already triple digits before the time jump. What's the secret? She's SPFing three times a day. I think the takeaway of this video is that Riverdale girl boss. I took the pink Lamborghini just to race in China, maybe. Tragically, that brings me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you also want to leave a comment, if you subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Yeah. Peace out. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs>